All right, guys, Land Run 89 here. Uh, my boy and I, we've been trying to put together a welding, uh, kind of like a, just a little metal shop deal out here in our garage. I have all this stuff over at my work uh, shop, but it's 40 miles away. So uh, we've been kind of trying to put together a little metal fabrication deal. So this is why I go to auctions right here, guys. This, uh, first of all, this little uh, oxygen acetylene deal, we bought that a year ago for 50 bucks at a flea market in Colorado. <laughs> um, and this weekend, my wife was working an auction. Um, she kind of does the books for auctions sometimes. Um, so it was the, the weekend of graduation. Like, so most of the schools around here were having graduation about the same time as this auction was going on. There was not a whole lot of people there. Um, I felt bad for the guy. It was a living auc or living estate auction. He was still alive, uh, and you know he was kind of shaking his head when his stuff was selling. But I, you know I was trying to help him out, but there just wasn't anybody bidding against me on stuff. So um, I bought this Hobart welder. It's a 180 wire uh, fed welder. Um, you can do flux core or just wire welding. Um, takes argon or you can do co2 argon mix with that welder uh paid 160 bucks for that setup and all the accessories that went with it uh then i bought the lincoln 225 arc welder from him and it had 50 foot leads with it those leads are worth quite a bit of money um but i paid 170 bucks for that welder uh so right around 320 bucks for two welders that's pretty cheap uh, and then for another 20 bucks i bought three full boxes of rod um, and th three or four partial boxes uh, and then he had a bunch of guns that sold cheap i didn't buy any guns um there was you know just he had stuff i didn't really wasn't interested in but uh I did buy, he had this box right here, it had three sets of uh, like Punisher grips for a 1911, I gave those to my boy, uh, had a P-Mag, it's white, I don't know, kind of weird, but it did have an AR-15 bolt in the box. It also had a box of 45 ammo, uh, I gave 40 bucks for that box, so that's a pretty cheap AR bolt. And a mag, you know, and then I gave the 45 stuff away because I do not shoot 45. But, uh, anyways, then I bought a $10 Remington 870 barrel at the auction and I put it on my new, newer 870, and hopefully it'll make that old Jamomatic shoot a little better. But, anyways, that's why I go to auctions, guys. Uh, picked up some levels, some squares, that kind of stuff, uh, some fencing material, uh, all kinds of, there was just a bunch of stuff there. But um, on another auction, uh, or it was an estate sale, my boy and I, um, she, there was this lady that just had a whole bunch of like aluminum pans, and they had tried to sell it for a week. Uh, and I told them on the last day I'd help them clean it up um, if we could take any of the aluminum, you know, stuff that wasn't like it was just kind of old cooking pans and stuff like that. And we scrapped a bunch of it and we bought ourselves a grinder uh, or a wheel grinder and a hand grinder or an angle grinder. Um, Dewalt uh, angle grinder. So scrapping you know it paid for our trip up there uh to scrap it and then we bought some tools with it for about two hours worth of work but anyways thanks for watching guys have a good one